cozy. Well, it's better than nothing. So, that's Stavro over there. I believe you two have met. Wait, he's Stavro? That explains a lot. He leads his cell. He's holding a debrief now. After what happened to me in Kavala, I can hardly blame him. Anyway, they're expecting us. Let's not keep them waiting. And Kerry, thanks for your help earlier. Uh, don't mention it, Captain. Welcome, everyone. It is good to see you all here. For the sake of our new friends, my name is Kostas Stavro. Together with my brothers here today, we form one cell of the FIA. We reject the false regime in our nation. We fight to restore our freedom. The situation, as it stands, is complex. For many months now, CSET forces have been a blight upon our homeland. They have trained and supported the AAF, the right hand of the government in Pyrgos. Yet now they have militarized. They have moved into our towns and villages. They have brought bloodshed to our homes. Communication with the outside world has become increasingly difficult. The last we heard, Pyrgos blamed the NATO for supporting a terrorist attack on Stratus. Their CSET partners have stood behind them. The global situation has become critical, and in these troubled times, it is good to see a familiar face. I would like to welcome back our British friend here and his men. Welcome back, Scott. May the future bring good fortune with you at our side. All right, Kerry. Glad to see you made it. Anyway, Miller's put together a plan with Stavra. You coming? Okay, so here's the situation. The recent attack on Kavala hit us hard. We lost valuable equipment and munitions, several months of supplies. And to make matters worse, with Nikos still missing in action, we've lost a key link in our supply network. We are not desperate, not yet, at least. But the situation is only going to get worse from here. We must act now. We must strengthen our hand while we still can. Our British friend here has offered us a solution. Part of Miller's team has been scouting enemy movement to the south. There is a weekly supply run between Agios Dionysios and a CSAT outpost in Fosha. His team will move in, ambush the convoy, and deliver the supply truck to one of our teams. So, unless there's any objections, I say we do this. Form Diamond. All right, lads, listen up. 
15 minutes till the convoy gets here. Let's move it. Go ahead, Falcon. Over. What? Now? Roger that. We'll be there. And Kerry? Over. You sure about that? All right, we'll see. Falcon 2 out. Okay, slight change of plan. We need it elsewhere. Kerry! Miller wants you to link up with a pocket of guerrillas and await new orders. But, with respect, what about the convoy? Are we still on for that? You ask a lot of questions, Corporal. <laughs> Don't worry, Miller will be in touch soon. You'll know what to do. We gotta go. I suggest you make your way to the new RV now. See you later. Alright, lads, move it! Goddamn Brits. On my way to the RV. Over. Good. Now listen, I need you to step up and take command of this operation. Over. What, are you serious? What makes you think the FAA will accept that? There's no time for debate. The convoy's on route and you know the plan. Look, I wouldn't task you with this unless I thought you could handle it. Commander Stavro is on board with it too. We'll let them know when you're inbound. Good luck. Falcon out. Gentlemen, listen here. We follow you because Commander Stavro ordered us to. Understood? I trust you know what you're doing, and I suggest you keep it simple. That's fine by me. Let's get this done. Get in that vehicle. Marcos, get in that vehicle. Copy. Waiting.
Zero, move up. On the wing. Ready. Rossi, move up. Negative. On the way. Rossi, move left. Copy. Vega, move up. On the way. Standing by. Waiting. Zero, board that vehicle. Roger that. Standing by. Ready.
Get in that vehicle. Negative. Be advised, low fuel. Marcos, board that vehicle. Roger that. Ready. 